Here's another one of those stair building tips that I used all the time to lay out accurate stair stringers. And accurate stair stringers are usually going to have level treads or level steps. They won't be leaning a little forward or leaning a little backwards because you're not going to be rounding off the decimal. You're going to be using the decimal to lay out the stair stringers within a 32nd of an inch. And if you're going to be building a set of stairs with more than 15 steps, you might consider taking it up to the next step, which would be a 64th of an inch. And if I zoom in on the framing square here, you can see where we have two different markings for our fractions. In this one here, it's divided into an eighth of an inch. In this one here, it's divided into a sixteenth of an inch. And if this is a side you're dealing with on your framing square, then it might be a little bit more difficult. But I usually just divide this into sections. So if I was to go in between the middle here, I would have a sixteenth of an inch. If I split that in half, then I'm going to have a thirty-second of an inch. And if I'm dealing with the sixteenth of an inch increments on the framing square, I just need to divide that in half. So for example, if 16 30 seconds is a half of an inch and I needed 17 30 seconds of an inch, I'm simply going to make sure that the center of this area right here lines up with the edge of the lumber that I'm trying to lay out the stair stringer on. And that will look something like this. Here's the edge of the stringer here. And here's the mark that represents the 32nd of an inch past the half inch mark. Or 6 and 17 30 seconds of an inch. And right in between the 16th of an inch mark I was referencing to in the previous pictures. So here we have a half inch, quarter of an inch. Half of a half inch, quarter inch. Half of a quarter of an inch is going to be an eighth of an inch. Half of an eighth of an inch in between these two lines here, I'm going to end up with a sixteenth of an inch. And then if I go in between the two lines that represent a sixteenth of an inch, I'm going to end up with a thirty-second of an inch. So not that difficult to do on a framing square using the sixteenth of an inch measurement lines. So the moral to this story is simply start rounding your numbers up or down to the nearest 32nd of an inch and not the nearest eighth or quarter of an inch.